It is Class Creatives, and in this video we're going to talk a little bit about the new Unreal 5 engine and some questions that we've had if the Art Tools V1 and the mannequin will still work with Unreal 5 with the new mannequins and the old Unreal 4 mannequins that come in the new Unreal 5 default projects. And the answer is yes, it will work. I just want to kind of recap a little bit of some of these animations that we've been using. This animation can be one that you created or one that you import using the import tool, which you could export uh, mannequin animations uh, from Unreal 4 projects or even Unreal 5 projects and bring those into Maya. The one thing that you do want to make sure about is that you are importing and working only with the Unreal 4 based uh, mannequin. The Unreal 5 mannequin, the male and the female one that they've uh, kind of rebranded and renamed, has a little bit of a different uh, skeletal structure. It's a little bit taller. So if you try to export animations for that character and bring those into this character, they're not going to work. Uh, but retargeting those animations, just like uh, how we kind of covered that in the uh, Paragon asset retargeting or any other retargeting um, animations that you might do with skeletons that are slightly altered or slightly different, uh, you may want to uh, use that workflow and that's kind of what we're going to cover today. So assuming you understand this process of creating the animation and bringing those animations in, if you don't know, uh, take a look at some of our older videos and some of our lectures that uh, we've discussed bringing in those animations into and out of Unreal. We're going to assume that you understand that process and you have your FBX animations in place and you're going to create a new project and you want to work with possibly the new Unreal mannequins for your project and recover how that works. Quick pause to tell you a little bit about Class Creatives. They offer a top-ranked game design curriculum online. You'll have access to instructors with over 25 years of professional industry experience and nearly a decade of accredited university-level instruction. All courses are taught by industry veterans with experience from studios such as Disney, Naughty Dog, Insomniac, Blur, Sony, Ubisoft, Sucker Punch, Guerrilla Games, Google, and more. Character animation fundamentals teach the importance of video reference to bring characters to life utilizing Autodesk Maya and Unreal Engine. Extensive character rigging courses teach the process of how to custom rig characters for all of your project needs. The great thing about Class Creatives is the ability to learn at your own pace and your own schedule. Get started today for free with the link in the description. So the first thing you're going to want to do is launch your Unreal 5 editor and uh, go ahead and launch that. And then what you're going to want to do is create a new project. I've already created one here, uh, but what you want to do is basically just go ahead and create a new project that's a third person project. You can kind of see they have these new mannequins in these new projects. And that's what we're going to be covering is how you can get this mannequin animation uh, onto this uh, character here while you can still animate everything in Maya. So I'm just going to go ahead and open the project that we already have. So when you open up your project, what you're going to see is a characters folder and inside that characters folder, they've nicely uh, put in the uh, Unreal 4 mannequin and the new mannequin. So the Unreal 4 mannequin is the same mannequin that you've seen in the past. Uh, the default kind of one that also looks like the same one, same mesh that's in the Art V1. And then they have these two new mannequins here that they've named Manny and Quinn, male and female. You can retarget to either one of these two. We're going to cover that process on how you can do that. You can work with this nice run that they already have in here. So the next thing that you're going to want to do is bring in your idle animation, same one that we were looking at in our Maya file. Just go ahead and drag that in. And it's going to ask you, just like any other previous uh, Unreal 4 projects, which mannequin you want to use. We're going to use this mannequin skeleton. You just import it, and then you're going to see, just like uh, how you're used to seeing it, you're going to see your animation on the default skeleton. Now, if you try to do the same thing on the new mannequin, uh, what you'll notice is, I'm just going to drag it into here. They have these separate animations in here that are... Uh, custom made for those. I'm just going to drop it in here temporarily just so you can kind of see what you're going to see by default if you try to bring in this animation into one of the new skeletons. And you're going to kind of see already from the preview he's kind of, uh, or this is the female one, They both these both have the same skeleton but you can see uh, it gets stretched out and it looks a little awkward. So we don't want that. Um, so what we're going to want to do is kind of do that same retargeting process that we kind of have been doing with Paragon and other previous lessons that we've covered. 
Um, similar process that you've done before, you wanna use the retarget, just right click that animation that we brought in. And then in the IK retargeting, you're just gonna to wanna to select the Unreal 4 targeter. And what that's gonna do is you're gonna use the source skeleton mesh and the target for the new one. All you need to do is hit that retarget button and it's gonna create this animation right here that's been retargeted. You can move this to wherever you want, wherever you like, maybe you wanna move it back to the animation section. Um, it's gonna actually, it has to, uh, it has the same name, so you're gonna have to rename it. We'll just call it temp for now. And then we'll go ahead and move it into the animations folder. And then you can kind of see now the one that we didn't retarget is kind of stretched out. And the one that we've retargeted is here. And you can kind of see that it's working really nicely with that. And you can always go ahead and re-export this out if you wanted to bring this animation back into uh, Maya, you can just export here and you can uh, work with that animation or you can reach, you can basically export this guy out of this one. You can um, basically kind of uh, do an asset action export here and create that FBX. And then if you're not familiar with that process, all you need to do is hit this import button, browse to where your motion capture is and place that animation right here and hit import. I would suggest doing FK and IK, selecting both, bringing that in, and then you'll get your animation. Same process that you've always done before. Uh, the only difference now is that you have this other mesh here that's slightly different, but with the retargeting, uh, Unreal has made it very uh, clean and easy for you to be able to retarget those uh, mannequin animations. So you can still use the art tools. One thing I like to stress is that these art tools, this art uh, plugin and is is for Autodesk Maya. It's not necessarily made for Unreal. That's one thing students forget about. This tool you can always use in Maya. As long as you build your characters with this hierarchy for the mannequin, you can always import your animations to any skeleton or any mesh that has that mannequin structure in Unreal, and you can always retarget from here onto the new mannequin. So hopefully that answers a few of the questions that you might have with whether or not uh, the art tools work with Unreal 5. We can see that it still does. And as long as you're building your own custom meshes along the same UE4 structure mannequin, you won't have any problems animating your characters inside of Maya, exporting mannequin animations that you have from libraries like Paragon and exporting those out and bringing those into Unreal projects, modifying them, changing them, and using them for your own projects. So hopefully that answers the uh, big questions that we keep uh, getting from all of you. Keep them coming uh, regarding Unreal 5 and the art tools. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.